Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi there, how are you doing? How is it going? What's good? Well, with Mirisa, I'd like to discuss a new topic which the title is Anger Management Hopefully, it will be useful for myself and also for all of you who are watching this video There will be two discussions in my video The first one is the factors which cause anger The second one is how to overcome anger scientifically and islamically Without further ado, here are the discussions The first discussion in my video is two factors There are three factors which cause anger the first one is exhaustion the second one is loneliness the third one is hunger so the first point is exhaustion when someone is exhausted or tired their brain called neocortex will lose its balance and control so people will get angry easier when they are tired According to W. Christopher Winter, who is a director in Sleep Medical Center, when someone has a lack of sleep, the number of ways uh, to get angry is higher, 60% than someone who has enough sleep. Okay, the second point is loneliness. When someone feels lonely, they are longing someone too much or doesn't have anyone around them or only few only have few people to accompany them they will get lonely and then when they are lonely it will affect their heart that they will have or suffer the heart disease and then after that loneliness also lead to depression that when we are lonely uh, and then we are depressed we are stressed our body produce a hormone called cortisol and it causes our immune system is decreasing it weakens our immune system after that when we have already suffered the heart disease also our immune system is low it will cause the the death or the death risk higher than someone who feels so content with their life that they have so many friends who support them when they face or endure problems in their life okay the third point is hunger so when we are hungry we will lose our energy to control our emotions we will forget to uh, what's that to hold back our anger we we cannot resist to get angry so that every time we go somewhere we have to prepare snack so we will not feel that hunger which will cause anger now we have come to the second discussion which is how to overcome anger scientifically and islamically according to islamic studies there are secrets in devoting our energy to do punctual five-time prayers they are 
when we do punctual subuh prayer, which the spectrum of the time is light blue, it influences to communications and wealth. And zuhur, when we do it punctually, it influences our mood and digestion. Asar, oh yeah, I forgot. The spectrum of time in zuhur is yellow. Okay, let's continue. Sorry. And then, when we do punctual asar prayer, which the spectrum of time of the time is orange, it influences our creativity and repro reproduction system. And last, sorry, I missed the maghrib, right? For the maghrib, the spectrum of the time is red. It's the same with the color of spectrum devil, devil spectrum, which is red. So when we, uh, what's that? When we have a journey, we are on the way to somewhere. We have to postpone our journey to pray Maghrib first and then we continue our trip later on. Okay, the last is Isha, Isha prayer. The spectrum of the time is indigo which turn into dark color. It influences our restlessness. So when we delay Isha prayer, we will feel restless and will not feel comfortable. Will not feel cozy. Okay. Um, after that, in addition, when we are someone who make people piss off or piss piss someone off we have to apologize to that people because even though we have what's that as for forgiveness to God but we also have to to do apologize apology we have to do apology to the people we have hurt Okay, after that, we have to forgive ourselves also. We have to forgive ourselves as well. We must not be too hard on ourselves. We have to move on. We have to... What's that? Do not let our several mistakes define us. We have to believe that we can be a better person in the future. After that, we have to believe in ourselves because we are what we think. When we think we can change to be a better person, then we can. But when we think that we cannot change to be a better person, we also cannot be. So it depends on our thought. Okay. After that, we have to be able to forget other people' mistake to us. We have to remember what they have done right. Okay. After that, if we are someone who feels irritated by someone else we must not what's that hold a grudge or take revenge we have to have big heart to forgive people who have hurt us after that what's that oh yeah 
uh, when we are hurt or feel irritated by other people, we also have to ask them whether they are in problem or not. Maybe because, sorry, because it can be they are angry or easily angry because they have a lot of problems in their life. So we over our help, maybe we can help something to overcome or reduce or relieve their pain. And after that, we also have to pray for ourselves to God. Uh, we have to pray to God that God can or Allah can forgive us. We repent and promise to not do the same anger in the future. And we also pray for other people who hurt us to be a better person because we have to believe that everyone has a chance to be a better person. And last, we have to be able to let bygone be bygone. Okay, that's all. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bismillah.